What's going on everybody? My name is Tenebris Infinite and welcome back to Generation Zero. It has been a quiet past couple of weeks, but we've got some really exciting stuff to talk about here in today's video where we're going to be talking about this month's update. It sounds like this month's update is going to be absolutely massive, my dudes. We've got the community managers saying stuff like... Um, but yeah, so if you guys just joined in, and I must have, um, there's sh shortly, um, I do believe next week they're going to be starting to talk a little bit more about quite a big, well, is by far the biggest update we've ever done to the game. Uh, it's game gameplay update, actually. It's brand new, new things to do. Um, I can't tell you too much about it, but it's pretty damn exciting. And like, this month is going to be probably the biggest of all the updates we've done so far in terms of changes to the game yeah. it's gonna be a doozy so do keep on our social channels over the next couple of weeks uh, well, a few weeks let's say and tune into the stream because it's gonna be some cool stuff to show then they have to have something absolutely massive in store for us uh, I think that it's really exciting that we're going to be seeing the biggest updates so far just seven months now since the games released and I think that uh, with them saying that this is going to be the biggest update so far, that it's going to be a quote-unquote doozy, is incredibly exciting. Uh, there's a couple things that I think could be coming our way, uh, so I'm just going to kind of go over them now. So, of course, the big thing that I think this game really needs at this point in time is a new machine of some sort. And I think with the next update being a doozy, we could potentially see a new machine type come into the game. Uh, there is also a high potential that we could see some sort of an LMG come to the game as well, because everybody, literally everybody has asked for an LMG so far. It has been one of the most vocal things towards the developers throughout live streams and on the forums and on Discord. So, I think it could be highly likely that we see ourselves a new weapon in the form of an LMG. Uh, we could potentially also see the map expansions. Uh, we, we had talked about that one island that was under development a couple weeks back. And we could potentially see something happen with that. Who knows? Um, it could maybe be much closer than I had assumed it was. Uh, or... We could potentially see crafting finally come to the game. And for me, that's my personal hope, is that this update will introduce crafting of some sort, something that we can micromanage, something to get us more involved with the wor world space here, uh, something that will kind of keep us engaged. And I really think that having things to craft gives you kind of like a new set of objectives in the video game and so it would be really really cool to see that come around this month uh we won't know though until probably tomorrow's live stream from uh the generation zero team or potentially even the week after that but you guys could be rest assured that i'm going to be covering this crap from the bottom all the way to the top, I am super stoked and super excited to see what's going to be coming next for the Generation Zero team. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think is going to be potentially coming in this month's update as well. So there's a couple things that um, I'm pretty sure have been confirmed. These things are what I would say are probably 95% sure. Uh, for coming to the next update. So I believe in one of the streams uh, it's been mentioned that we're going to see some new challenges come to the game, which is exciting. Uh, I really hope the challenges will be something that will be a nice cherry on top for updates moving in the future. So uh, it's, it's going to be really interesting to see the way the challenges have progressed if they do decide to add more of those uh, in this upcoming update. As well, uh, this upcoming update has a number of major bugs to be fixed, and I, I'm pretty sure that arrest, the rest of the community here will agree with me. Uh, the issue with robots shooting houses for no reason uh, really needs to be fixed. 
It's like, in the first place, it's kind of novel, and oh wow, you know, like, oh, they're actually attacking the city and stuff. But, uh, after, <laughs> after you've encountered that, like, maybe three or four times, it starts to get really kind of lackluster. Uh, just kind of walking around, killing off these robots that you'd normally be fighting. Uh, and then another major bug that needs, needs to be fixed is the reloading bug. Uh, I think that in a first-person shooter, you need to have the ability to tactfully reload whenever you want to, and uh, that, that's been a bug that's been facing us for the last two uh, updates so far, so it would be really, really nice to see that get fixed. But, actually, you know, I'm trying to keep things just positive here on my channel about Generation Zero, so as opposed to focusing on the things that should be fixed, let's kind of focus on uh, the excitement of new things to come. Because we already know that the Generation Zero team is hard at work out there trying to get these issues uh, resolved in Generation Zero and trying to get this game to tip-top shape. So we can just trust in them to get those uh, those couple of bugs that I listed there fixed and any other bugs that are, are kind of facing us <laughs> and kind of bothering us in this game. So yeah, let's just focus on uh, this upcoming update and get excited for the future, my dudes, uh, because as always, Generation Zero has a very bright future. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little news update. And uh, keep your eyes on this channel and also on the Generation Zero news space uh, for what's going to be coming next because it's going to be some really, really big stuff, my dudes.